We are here with the James Barker Band. What's Ooh. up, fellas? So, oh, not a lot. It is a Sunday night at the Big Valley Jamboree, and you guys are opening up for Tim McGraw. We are. Feels good, man. We uh, hopefully the weather holds out. Um, but pretty excited to be opening up for a uh, hero. Uh, fellas, congratulations! The CCMA nominations. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now, I, I've been asking it all weekend. Let's go down the couch. Where were you when you found out that you were being nominated for for all of the different awards? Uh, well, the one came out the night before, mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I was at home. I actually don't remember. I don't know. It was in the morning. I was. I think I was still in bed. It was like it was early. It was like seven in the morning because we had the time difference, right? So it was yeah, like yeah, yeah. Seven a.m. and I, I was still in bed. and I looked at it and then I had to post about it. Yeah, I feel like we were all just like at our respective houses. Do you feel like for country bands and stuff like? You, you're always trying to like make sure that you're make, making the better song coming out coming out after that and then wanting not only is it for accolades but to be nominated for something that is so close to your guys it's hard it just kind of makes it a little bit better yeah I mean I feel like a big part of it though is you can't get too focused on that because it's almost like uh, you got to focus on like the creative and the art part of it and just like be like we want to make great music don't be like we want to make a song that's going to win us the CCMA be like we want to make a song that people are going to fall in love with and they're going to want to hear live and that we all think is cool and if you do that then you know Maybe. A plus B equals C will follow yeah, yeah exactly mm -hmm. now Taylor what's it like uh, playing country music again man it's good it's fun yeah, yeah, yeah it was uh it was an interesting two years. I mean, James overcommitted us off the top. What do you mean by that? Well, he's like, oh, we're going to do a live stream every day until the pandemic's <laughs> over. And it, they told us it was going to be 14 days. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Yeah. yeah but that did lead to interactive artists. Yeah, yeah it did. Yeah. True. Yeah. Fair enough. So, James is another reason why yeah. I get Thanks. to you the <laughs> There you go. You're so well, funny you say that. I think everybody was in that boat. We were in the same thing. We are like, we're going to put out a video every three days mm -hmm. and we're going to do all this fun stuff. And then all of a sudden, we're just like, okay. <laughs> Once a month. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> a lot more work than you think it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. But you're finally back in the crowds. Mm -hmm people again you're doing what you love to do I mean did you miss it to a point where you were kind of worried that it was never gonna come back or maybe you were gonna maybe change the next time that you were able to get up on stage yeah I don't I like I think personally my fear was coming back from it like what it would be like whether it would just be like straight up okay we you know we've done the quarantine we've done the hangout at home let's just open it back up or whether it was gonna be like hey you know now concerts are gonna be really weirdly like you know, like sectioned pods. off, yeah, yeah, and all that type of stuff. I remember, yeah, way back when I heard a rumor that there was going to be like just like circles of people, and you had like your own. Anyway, we don't need to go down that hole. <laughs> it didn't happen. Thank God, it was fantastic. But just getting back on stage and just like you know, we played uh, Sunfest yesterday, and um, we just played a bunch of really cool shows that like just re-energize you and just like this is this mm -hmm. is what we missed. We're back. These are the smiles we see. This is the party we bring. It's just like this is. Is a pretty cool life. Connor, for you, was it like a duck to water, ready to go and making sure that you were ready to play, or did it take again a little bit of time to oh, realize I ready, how? I've been ready to go for two years. <laughs> no, I was ramped up, ready to go, absolutely. Yeah. I love that. With all that time, a lot of us spent time writing, but I spent a lot of time rehearsing and practicing and just being ready to go when and come back. So, you know, I was prepared, ready to throw it. Yeah. Are people surprised to know that you guys have been best buddies for so long, or just did it come naturally way, the way you guys are around each other? I mean, it's pretty it's pretty <laughs> obvious. What, sorry, what were you yeah, guys What are you, guys what are you laughing at? Should, should we separate when we answer this? Yeah. No, no, no. Because, like, I feel like we've, we've kind of lived a couple different lives within the band. I think early on, like the corral days, like way back when, that was like... In the trenches. Yeah, yeah, but it's like you don't know you're in the trenches at that point. I think <laughs> it's different. And then like we've spent a lot of, a lot of, a lot of time together. And I think it's just like, hey... What are you trying to say, man? It's dope. And, <laughs> and like, I don't, I don't I know. We always, had, we always had a lot of fun together. That was the thing. Is like we used to play gigs, but then we would just go and like party and hang out right. together. So, and it's been like as you like kind of mature and then like mature professionally. Yeah. And start playing bigger shows and, and that kind of thing. It kind of transitions away from that thing where it's like you're going to like party hard every night to just being able to like actually go like well now we'll go like golfing or bowling and stuff but i think there's something to be said too for us like going home like playing shows doing whatever as a band going home doing our own lives like you know remodeling houses or whatever being with our families and then you get back with the boys and you kind of like like not stoop down a level but you kind of get back in with the guys yeah. so like you go home and you're like the family man and doing the thing and responsible you and you get like two lives yeah yeah, yeah. 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 and then you're like out with the guys and well, I always wondered, like, like when That's younger, fabulous. when you yeah. see like Blink One Eighty Two and Sum Forty One, you're like, man, how do they like maintain this when they're like 30, 35, 40s? Like, 
are they going to be that way? Then like now that we're like we're almost all thirty now, we're like we're still okay. so immature and stupid. <laughs> yeah, that it makes so we're it. never yeah, growing yeah. up. Like, it's just you keep each other young. And you yeah. you tell your like funny road stories to your significant other, and they don't get it at all. They're like you're just killing yourself yeah. laughing. Yeah. Right. She's like, yeah. is that funny? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I think so. She's like, okay. <laughs> Like, oh, you yeah. had to be there. She like that was. <laughs> no, right. Yeah, fair. Well, guys, I appreciate the time. Best of luck here tonight. Best of luck with the CCMAs back in Calgary in just a couple of months, yeah. which is cool. Mm -hmm. Now, before we let you go, you said you have like a, an on-stage ritual, a before-stage ritual. Before stage. Is it gonna give you bad luck if we do it with the Kiss and Country listeners? No, because no, we've done it. We've showed it off yeah. a bunch of times. The main thing is that you can overdo it. You just can't underdo okay, it. Okay, yeah. so you can do it again. Yeah, yeah. So okay. can't not. We forgot to do it one show, and anytime we've forgotten to do it, it's something goes train wrong. Like, it's train train goes extremely wrong. Wrong. Catastrophic. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we better do it two times. Okay, okay. so she must it. feed so, and be fed. So all, each chicken must feed and be fed, like Taylor said. So feed, fed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm a part of this? Yeah, get yeah. in there. Okay. Buddy. Get that chicken some. Every, get that chicken some. So steak. everybody gets some? Yeah. Yeah. You Whoa. Know. Chicken's gotta eat. Okay. Yeah. And chicken have names? Eat, but you didn't feed nope. the chicken mom. Oh, sorry. And they're got hungry chicken. They're they're very, I got you. You get you. I got you. And they're you. refined individuals like uh, Michael and Bill, our tour manager, that um, for them, the handshake is okay. just, just a gentleman's agreement and stuff, but for the yeah, oh, best. For the best We're just a bunch of clucking hands. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Well, it's very COVID friendly, only here at the Main <laughs> Parker. <laughs>